My path to engineering has not been traditional. Um, I was born and raised in St. Mary's County. I graduated from Leonardtown High School. I took a lot of the traditional classes. I took accounting and typing and I guess I was setting myself up more for a business kind of admin type of career. Um, I never thought I was good enough or I never thought I was smart enough to become an engineer. I started working at the nuclear power plant over in Calvert Cliffs. I learned firsthand what an engineer does and so I got my two-year degree, my associate's degree in general engineering from CSM. I ended up with a bachelor's degree from the Johns Hopkins in, in engineering. I'm a lead test engineer for the Navy and I'm responsible for testing identification systems that are used in the aircraft as well as on the ships. It's a question and answer system. We have to understand technology, how that system is designed to operate, and we have to design flight tests to verify that it meets those requirements. In addition to being those requirements, we also have to look and see that the system can support the mission. A lot of times during flight tests, we discover deficiencies, and uh, we, you know, there's a lot of uh, documentation that we have to do when we do flight tests. We have to look at, analyze data, look at results. Uh, if we do find a problem, it's our responsibility to write a deficiency. I, I'm actually a graduate of the United States Test Pilot School, they, which is very few engineers get to go through test pilot school, and got to fly and test aircraft. I sat in the back and um, I gathered data. It was, it was, a, it was, the pilot was a tester and I was in the back as a test engineer. And we're flying around at 15,000 feet, you know, pulling about four or five Gs and I'm getting data. And so engineering is not just about sitting behind a desk. It's not about geeking out in Excel spreadsheets. It's, um, it's not about walking around with pocket protectors and pencils and greasy hair. Engineering can be fun and exciting. I guess if you think about it, everything we do today relies on technology and requires some aspect of engineering. You could be a true engineer in a lab environment uh, where you're doing a lot more research you know, my job as an engineer doesn't require that, so my job lends itself to someone who's maybe a little bit more of a better communicator and maybe a little bit more um, creative. I describe my job, I, I put out fires. Every day when I come in, there's just something that needs my attention. And a lot of times I have a really big fire, and then other times it's a little fire. I have a test that I'm planning right now. I'm coordinating trying to get Navy ships. I'm trying to get a bunch of Navy aircraft. I have Air Force aircraft coming, I have Army helos coming, and so to try to get all of these things lined up that I don't really have control over to all come to this, to this test um, is very challenging. It's a huge responsibility um, and I try to manage it as best I can and when things um, don't go right, when I need help, I elevate it. We, I elevate it to the program manager. I definitely have a passion for flight test. I love flight test. I love, there's nothing I like better than to put on a pair of jeans one day and to grab a test set and to go out to the aircraft and actually do testing on an aircraft, checking out the system. I guess I enjoy engineering because it requires you to think. And so when you're out there doing testing, um, you know, you find problems, things don't go right, and, and you're just constantly thinking and utilizing your brain, and I, I enjoy that. With my job, there's nothing that I really do by myself. We work together as a team, and when you see that camaraderie and that pulling together, and at the end of the day, you know, we, we got a flight off, we were successful, the system worked good, um, it, it feels like you've done your job. If someone is interested in being an engineer, they need to understand it, find out what kind of jobs are out there, and, and to know that if they go down that route, they're going to be in demand. Sometimes people don't do things because they're afraid of failure, and I know the one thing for me was just making that leap, making that jump to say, I'm going to be an engineer, I can do this, and you know, trying to have some confidence and go forward to, to make it happen. Um, I'm not going to say engineering was easy. I. I can say that I failed test, it, you know, it's a struggle, but it teaches you a lot about yourself as a person to get through the engineering curriculum. And at the end, I mean, there's, there's huge dividends. A lot of people just hate their job, and I feel very fortunate that I get up every day and I love what I do, and there will be times where it'll be like, I can't believe that they're paying me to do this. Um, that's, it's really great, and that enthusiasm for your job is really what's gonna help you be successful. Thank you.